my name is Megan Hill. This is my third time filming this video, so hopefully it works this time. Um, the career that I chose to do a profile on is a marriage and family therapist, and there's actually a man in my home ward named um, Jeffrey Christensen, who is a practicing marriage and family therapist and agreed to let me interview him and talk to him about these things, so it's really great to have him as a source in case I have any future questions. Um, so some of the things that I learned from him are that the working environment are usually clinics, hospitals, schools, and private practices. And I think that if I were to pursue this career, I'd want a private practice to own my own business. Um, he says that the work hours usually have to be really flexible in order to accommodate um, different family needs. Um, there are sometimes family emergencies that you have to work around, hectic family schedules, um, he says that working families, sometimes you have to be able to work nights and weekends to be able to accommodate their schedules. Um, so basically, you have to be pretty flexible in that area. Typical stressors, I think this is kind of an obvious one. You're going to be working with a lot of broken homes, unhappy people, some mental illnesses. But he says it's also really rewarding to see the, the progress and the help that you're providing for them. And so that's worth it. Um, he also says it's really disheartening when a family that you're trying to help isn't really progressing and that sometimes you can feel a lot of pressure on yourself to be the one that helps them and solves their problems. Um, he also says that in extreme cases, sometimes clients can become really attached and want your attention even when they don't have appointments. Um, but he says that's just an extreme case. It doesn't happen very often. Um, he says that the benefits, most therapists usually receive life, health, and disability insurance, paid holidays and vacations, and pension plans, which is great. Um, obviously, self-employed therapists like him um, have to pay for their own benefits and um, pay for their employees' benefits, but not a big deal. Um, common job tasks, um, he explained this one to me pretty well. Um, he talked about how you have to collect data through um, a lot of different ways, testing, um, interviewing, discussions, and he says his favorite is observing. Um, sometimes he'll bring up issues and conversations and just let the family talk about it. And through those observations, he really learns the most about their interactions with each other and the way they feel. Um, he has to provide advice and counsel on relationships, divorce, separation, death, child rearing, and financial, financial struggles. And he says he also does follow-ups with his clients to make sure that everything's still going okay. Education requirements. Um, marriage and family therapists need at least a master's degree and typically two years of supervised clinical experience. So he says that the starting salary is around 30 grand and the experience salary can range from about 50 to 70 grand. Um, 70 would probably be more an extreme case. Not very common, I'm sure. Um, he also told me that this career has a faster than average job outlook in the upcoming years, which is a really good thing, especially in this economy. Um, so I really appreciated being able to talk to him and learn a lot more about this career in case it becomes something that I want to do. Um, and that's it.